Hello everybody, it's Jen Scrappina Creations. I'm here today as part of a celebration for Cards by Micah and she is celebrating 3,000 subscribers on her YouTube channel. So today I'm using this adorable stamp and die set by Hero Arts. It's called Kitty, which is so cute. And I'm pulling out the Easter Wishes paper pad by Echo Park. There are a lot of Easter themed papers in this paper pad, but there's also ones that are perfect for spring or any occasion card like today. So on today's hop, you'll see lots of cards created by various YouTubers and they are all celebrating friendship. So I thought I would use this adorable little kitty in the teacup. I'm stamping this out with my Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink. I will be doing some Copic coloring for this image. So I'm just using my Tim Holtz stamp platform here to get a couple of stamps down so I get a nice crisp clean black line. And I'm going to re-stamp the little teacup here on this piece of pattern paper from the Easter Wishes paper pad. I'm going to do some paper piecing today for the actual teacup. So I'm going to stamp that twice as well just to make sure that I have the same kind of darkness of ink on the teacup as well as the stamped image. So I am going to fussy cut this out and then I will move on here to the coloring. So for my Copic colors today, I'm going to start off with the kitty and I decided to do the body here in a light kind of beigey brown color. So I'm coming in with my lightest marker just to map out where I want the darkest shadow. So I'm using E51 to do that. I'm going to add some shadows around the ears, around all the little fur lines, under the eyes and the nose, uh, above the paws where the paws are touching the face, and then around the little fingers of our little kitty as well. The neckline would also have a shadow as well as where the kitty's little body is kind of crumpled up in that teacup and then around her bottom area where her tail is. So now I'm coming in with my darkest color which is the E35 going over where I had already laid down my lightest color just to bring in those dark shadows. And now I'm coming in with the E53 which is my mid-tone. And like I said, I'm just doing a very light color here. I had planned already to bring in some darker browns. You'll see here after I get this done on the little fur lines here representing some little bit of pattern on our kitty. So I imagine this to kind of be a tabby kitty. So you can see here with each uh, marker that I'm using, I bring those lines out more and more. And here I'm blending in the dark color and the mid-tone with that E51 again. So we'll get that all colored up and then I'll move on to some darker colors. So while I'm finishing up this part, I just want to let you know that all the information for the hop will be in the description below, as well as the next person on the hop. There are prizes to be won, so make sure you take a look at the description box. And make sure to subscribe to some new YouTubers that you find on the hop today if you've enjoyed their video as well as give them a big thumbs up for participating in celebrating Micah's milestone with her YouTube channel. So here's where I'm bringing in a couple darker colors. I'm using the E25, <clears throat> excuse me, and the E23. And I'm just going over some of those darker areas. Uh, I felt like the kitty was a little bit too light for the look that I was going for. So I'm just going over that and I'm actually going to bring that E35 back now. So that was the darkest color that I used the first time with the first three colors. And I'm just going to pull out those two darker shades, the E25 and the E25 I used. Before I go any further, I'm going to add a little bit of R20 
to the ears. I'm not going to worry about the nose because I am going to color that in black. And now I'm bringing back my E53 and my E51 and I'm going over this mostly with the E53 to blend out those darker colors. I'm only going to be leaving very little uh, of the highlight color of the E51 and I really like how this second coating really brings our kitty to life. For the eyes, I'm going to use some teal or aqua colors. I'm using BG13, BG11, and BG10. This will match some of the pattern paper that I'm using for this card. So here's where I'm placing the paper pieced teacup. I just wanted to make sure that it adhered well with my liquid glue, so I am using my stamp block. And then I'm going to bring in some cool grays here just to add some shading to our teacup so it doesn't look flat. So I'm using the C1, and here's my little kitty, Lila. She was coming to see what I was doing. So I laid the C1 down first and then blended that out with the C00. And now I'm using the corresponding die that comes with the stamp set to cut out our image here. And it looks great. So now I'm just going to do some detailing on our image. So I'm using a black glaze pen for the eyes and the nose. I'm going to let that dry and then I am going to bring in a white gel pen for some additional detailing. And here I wasn't quite happy with the cat. Um, so I am bringing in a, I think it's the E53 and I'm just blending that out uh, one more time. So here's where I'm doing the dot detailing on the eyes and the nose with the white gel pen and then we'll move on to creating the card. So for the back panel I'm using this spring floral card or pattern paper. I'm cutting that out with a stitched rectangle die and a stitched oval die. I'm also bringing in this teal pattern paper from the paper pad and I'm going to cut out this hello die. This is by MFT. My first idea for this card, which you'll see in a minute here, was to make this little frame and then I was going to pop up my image on an action wobbler. Now you'll see me put the action wobbler together. I don't like it so I end up taking that off. So if I were to do this card again, I would actually pop up that floral pattern on some foam adhesive. And <laughs> My little kitty is playing in a box beside me so if you can hear that that is Piper playing in a shipping box. So with the pink gingham paper behind our floral pattern here, I felt like it was just a little bit too busy. So you saw there I brought in two of the stitched ovals and I made a little frame for around the window. So I'm just going to adhere the pink gingham paper to the back of my panel. I love that little chocolate bunny paper on the back side of that. Once I get that in place, I'm going to adhere this little oval frame down. And I just cut that out of some uh, heavyweight 110 pound cardstock. But I feel like that just gave it a little bit more interest and really kind of divided those two busy pattern papers. So now that I have that complete, I am going to add this panel onto my card base. This is a standard card at four and a quarter by five and a half. And here I'm just using my craft pick to pop out the little pieces of the hello die. So originally I thought I was going to have this hello on the card. In the end, it doesn't make it onto it. Because I was going to put this on an action wobbler, I was trying to figure out where I would place it. And before I got the action wobbler on, I wanted to actually stamp out the sentiment as well which is really sweet. It says, sending a warm cup of kitty, which is so cute. So I'm just gonna actually fussy cut this out by hand and I'm going to do it around um, this sentiment. And I'm gonna end up placing this sentiment to the left hand side of our little teacup. I'm just finishing off with the fussy cutting. And here's where I decide 
to put the sentiment on the teacup. I thought that that broke up the teacup a little bit and really kind of allowed our sentiment to stand out. So I'm just going to adhere that down with some liquid glue and then I'm going to move on to adding the Action Wobbler. So these are by Art Impressions and I love the thought of using the Action Wobblers but I have to say I don't really have much luck with them. I find they just don't settle on the card properly. So you can see here the top part of the kitty is much higher than the bottom part. So I tried it a couple times, it didn't work, and I edited that piece out of the video and decided just to stick down our little kitty on some foam adhesive. To finish off, I'm going to bring in some Nouveau Drops in Red Berry and I'm going to place those around my card. I do end up going back after filming the video and adding one more to um, the card as I didn't realize here that I only put four uh, of the little circles on my card base and I do like to have embellishments in odd numbers. I'm just going to tap this down so that the Nouveau drops lay flat and that's my card for today. Thanks everybody for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.